Pastor David Ballard. Welcome to this segment of Bethel's Bread. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about the nation of Israel uh, and a certain portion of scripture that can really help our lives out tremendously. In Psalm chapter 78 and verses 34 and 35, the Bible says, when he slew them, then they sought him and they returned and inquired early after God. And they remembered that God was their rock and the high God, their redeemer. As I see this, Israel received mercy from God many times. We know some of the history of the nation of Israel, and certainly much of it is written in the scripture where God over and over had mercy unto the people of Israel. I sure am glad that he has mercy for us. I know that he has mercy for me. All the times that I fail him, God is so wonderful to have mercy over and over on this old preacher. Many times Israel was given direction. God tried to help them go the right way and uh, he certainly gives us his word to uh, go ahead and be a direction to us, uh, guidelines, if you will, things that we certainly should live by because, boy, the Bible sure is rich uh, in how we should behave ourselves and the way that we should live our lives. And he certainly has mercy for us. And he certainly has direction that he wants to give us. But it's amazing how many times, and Psalm 78 paints this picture of the goodness of God, the mercy of God, the direction of God, being ignored by the people of God. It's a worrisome thing. It culminates in verses 34 and 35 here in Psalm 78 where he then goes ahead and slays them. He slays them or perhaps gives them direction by causing them some harm so then they'll return unto him. I, I don't want this to ever happen to any of us and I want to kind of help us a little bit to recognize that sometimes in our life, God gives us little nudges. He says, hey, listen, I'm trying to help you here. I'm trying to love you. I'm trying to show you direction. And I don't want to get us to the point where I have to harm you to get you to come back to me. Uh, there's been times in my life that uh, perhaps I've ignored what God wanted to do and I've ignored some of his direction. And because of that, he maybe gives me a little uh, godly slap on the wrist, if you will, or trying to redirect me back into his right ways and his good ways. God loves us so much. He doesn't want to harm us. He wants to give us direction and he wants to help us and he wants to have mercy on us and he wants us to live good, godly Christian lives. And may I submit to you, there's nothing wrong with living a good, godly Christian life. Matter of fact, there's everything right with it. And it's so helpful to lead that life. I just don't want us to ignore the goodness of God. I don't want us to ignore the direction of God. I don't want us to ignore the nudges that God gives us. Paul was talked to by Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ, it's hard for thee to kick against the pricks. These are nudges that God was trying to give Paul to help to direct his life in the right way. Don't ignore those nudges. Don't ignore when God's trying to talk to you. Get into his Bible. He doesn't want to harm you. He doesn't want to have to force you to be directed in a good way. He wants to love you. He wants to care about you. But as a heavenly father, sometimes that love and care uh, demands a little bit of a slap on the wrist to get us to be directed back towards him. He doesn't want to do that. But boy, I tell you, I'm glad when he does because he knows the end. He knows my path, and he doesn't want me to go down a wrong path. So he wants to help me and go the right way. Don't ignore the nudges of God. He loves you very much, and he wants us to do the right things. So let's make sure that we don't ignore his goodness and his mercy. Let's praise him for it. And let's say, hey, Lord, I want to do what I can to live a good, godly life. This has been Bethel's Bread today. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helps your life. God bless you. I'm Pastor David Ballard.